and welcome back to my channel and another super spontaneous vlog. Say hi OC. Oh, hi. Hi OC. Hi Puss. Nearly had them the wrong way around then. If you're new here, this is an equestrian channel, I promise. It's just the cats seem to be featuring far more often at the moment. But what is this vlog about, Tina, I hear you say? Well, you've probably seen the title and the thumbnail. I was outside doing a quick ad with these props and this gorgeous jacket, coat, jacket. I always get confused between coats and jackets. And I thought, oh, I want to test out my microphone. So I'm hoping you are noticing a difference because this is attached. You can't see it, but there it is. Oh yeah, you can see the corner of it. Look, it's trying to make it not windy. Look there. They call them dead cats or something, I believe. Anyways, the vlog is going to be about Dinks, my miniature Shetland. I thought it would be good because lots of you say that you're bored at home, working from home, not seeing many people do like hearing the sound of my voice, which, thank you, is very much appreciated that you enjoy it. Um, but lots of you said that you enjoy seeing Dinks on camera. So we're going to do a little throwback and go back to when I first got him and do a bit of a video of as to why I feel that miniature Shetlands are fantastic companion ponies. You agree with me, don't you, Banks? Is he the best companion ever? Did you hear that grunt? <gasps> do you agree with me? Is he a good friend to have? Just get me some hay, Mum. Trust it to be as I spin the camera around, he does the biggest sigh ever. Right, so let's go back in time to August 2018, which is when I first got Little Dinkle, aka Bertie. I got him because my friend Steph, that kept her horse Storm here, moved back to her previous yard because she was struggling, as you can see, without an arena. She is a dressage diva, unlike me, and does like to do her schooling and, yeah, with... We can school in the summer here, but in the winter, we definitely cannot. I do not have the facilities and the ground gets far too boggy to ride on. So yeah, she moved back to her previous yard after being here for about 18 months. And I needed to get a companion, a companion for Sir Banksy, who isn't very good at being left on his own. I don't think many horses are really, are they? I mean, horses are herd animals, so they do like to have company. Um, I didn't want to get another ridden horse because I don't have enough hours in the day to often get enough exercise into one, let alone two. So I looked into getting a Shetland. Lots of people said to me, don't get a Shetland because they're naughty. They can be absolute terrors. But Rob's sister has a miniature Shetland as a companion pony for her daughter's ponies. And she was like, no, you should get one. They're absolutely adorable. They're good as gold. Ours is no trouble. I'll put you in contact with the breeder or the lady that we got ours from. She's local to us. She's got loads. <laughs> she kind of collects them, but if she can find nice homes for them, she's happy to let them go. Um, so go down, see her and see if you fall in love with one. Needless to say, I did. She had lots to choose from. I was umming and ahhing indecisive. Sorry, Dinks, you weren't the first one. There was a gorgeous little Appaloosa, but he was a bit of a cheeky chappy. Um, and mum came with me. Mum actually bought him. Mum is actually Dinks' owner. I'm not actually his owner, my mummy is. Uh, she came down with me and she had her eye on him straight away. He was a little bit quieter than the other one, which is probably a good thing and probably why I can say that he's not a terror. Um, and yeah, he just, he was just so cute. He was inquisitive, but not bolshy and in your face. So I think that was around the 7th or 8th of August. And he came home a few days later. I will insert some footage of when we went to pick him up. Hey, little man. Okay. Annie, can you hurry up and open the trailer, please? Because I want to go in it. <laughs> it's going to Okay. Dad put his feet in that hay next He's fine. He's uh, taking himself straight in. Right. Happy chappy. You're yeah. facing the wrong way, but that doesn't matter. snorting at him. I'm quite impressed so far. You want to kiss him, don't you? Hello. Don't roll into the fence. 
quite happy as long as there's food. Bertie! And then go on to say and show you why I feel they are fantastic companion ponies and why I wouldn't change them for the world or have anything else to keep. Banks are so bored right now, <laughs> but to keep Sir Banksy company. I will then go on to show you why I feel they are such fantastic. <laughs> I've got a cat between my legs. I nearly stood on you then when I put my foot down off the fence. This is OC for anybody that's new here. She is a recent, recent new addition because she was a stray. Well, she is a stray, but she's not anymore because she's um, just look, 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 ready. He's going to have you. You're not scared of the horse. Are you not scared of Banksy sniffing you? Not at all, are you? <laughs> Banks, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you jealous? Are you a jealous guy? Are you a jealous guy? I'm not sure what you'll think of this microphone. Hey. I came out to talk about dinks, not you. Is that allowed? Is that allowed? You just want to come in, don't you? You just want to come in. Yes, you do. And you want to be centre of attention. Right, so back in time to when we first got him. I did, well, we didn't have this pen here. Literally, as you can see. We had this spare stable. That was a full length stable door. Robbie cut it in half and made it so that he can look over it. Hi again, cats. And we made this pen outside so that we can restrict. If we do get too much grass in the summer, he can be, he can have the run of his stable and his pen. And then Banksy can be in this field here and they can still see each other, but neither gets upset because They've still got each other for company. Oh, you pocket picker. So, Dinks, why are you such a good companion pony? A, because you are so easy to keep. Oh, Dinks, be good, please. I remember when I messaged you in the summer, I was like, why is his feet gone such a funny <laughs> He is the cleanest little pony in the world. This is the extent of how messy his bedroom gets. That's from being in last night. Oh, I do do a quick skip out just before I go to bed. So that's from being, that's from like 11 o'clock to half past seven this morning. Hi, Puscat. Easiest to muck out ever. Eats very minimal hay or haylage. A bucket of water lasts him two nights. And he literally has a handful of chaff as hard feed. One thing to consider, as I said, with having a miniature Shetland as a companion pony is that you would have to restrict the grazing in the summer well, and in the winter if you've got good rich grass, um, if you have good pasture. However, here, we don't have very good grass at all in summer or winter and I have to top Banksy's forage up with hay or haylage all year round so that work, that is why a miniature Shetland works well for me because I don't have to be too concerned about restricting his grazing however they are always in overnight in the winter and they are often in by day in the summer so as to avoid a eating too much and b flies and excessive heat that's one thing he's also not that good in is excessive heat um he can get too hot so he does always need to have access to the shade he's a hot horse but as is banksy so i'm used to having to deal with that everybody said that shetlands are absolute terrors but we do not have a pip a pip a pip a peep of trouble from him he's an absolute sweetheart he's full of love he's not at all intimidating. What is good with having a miniature as a companion is say I was going out for the evening or staying away somewhere for the night, either my husband 
Rob or his dad who lives with us would be able to get the horses in. If it's two big strong horses then I would worry about Winston being 79 getting both in together but with it being Banksy and a miniature then Banksy and Dinks. I feel like I'm talking to you as if I don't know you guys today. What's wrong with me? Is it because of the microphone? It's made me have stage fright. <laughs> um, It's my same cat. This is what it was like when I had my old camera. This is strange. Maybe I should start that bit again. <laughs> I feel a stage frighty, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel a bit awkward. <laughs> oh, maybe this isn't a good idea for a vlog, but I just know that some lots of you guys said you'd like to see a bit more of Dinks and find out a bit more about his background. He had done a little bit of showing prior to when I got him. I'm not going to be able to hang up a hay net one handed, am I? I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a picture of that. I don't think I am. I think the one picture that she'd sent me was one of the ones that was um, maybe not been purchased. So I'm not going to edit that in here. Let's hang that up. There we go. That was a quick, a quick, quick release knot for being practically one handed. Where am I going with this vlog? Oh, I feel like a mad person. Oh dear. Right. Dinks, why are you such a good companion? That's what we're saying. I think because he's just so, he's so laid back. He's so chilled. He's so zen, isn't he? He's a good friend to you, isn't he? He's um, no trouble whatsoever. He doesn't mind whether he's in all day. He doesn't mind whether he's out all day. Banksy and him churn up the grass less than Banksy and, what is that? It's a dog bone, you can't eat that. Yeah, you don't want that, sweetheart. I'll get you a treat. Um, churn up the ground less than two big horses would, although I will admit, recently they've been proper hoo ha -ry and galloping around. And You'll have seen that if you've seen a recent you. vlog. Um, to their heart's yeah. content, let's give them a garrot for the treat. Oh, let's take two. Look at the state of the field, boys. They don't require many visits from the farrier. I think he goes every second or third time Banksy has shoes, he gets a trim, which is literally... £10 every 6, 12, sometimes 8, six, 12 to 18 weeks. There we go. Dinks, are you going to come forward? Because this is all about you. Ah. Catch. He got it. <laughs> um, I don't know where I'm really going with this, guys. I just thought I would, um, yeah, explain when I got him, why I got him, and tell anybody that's thinking of getting a miniature Shetland that they are blooming brilliant ponies to have. He is my little pony. I love him dearly. Um, but unfortunately, when they are in the field together, there's no way he's going to get the limelight because Mr. Here has to be the star of the show, don't you? Hmm? Yes, you do. Oh, hear that sound. Anybody that can't see their horses at the moment? Thanks, he's just testing out the new microphone. Does it sound different? Does it not? Hmm? Do we need another bit of carrot to try? <laughs> the cat think. You think you want some? Do you? Give it a thumbs up if you think the sound is improved with the new microphone, guys. I'm interested to know. Let's give the little pony. Best give the little pony a bit more. There we go. He's got it. He doesn't miss a trick. Last bit here. Last bit for you. That was in English. Tina best get mucking out. Do the chores. And get back inside. Random spontaneous upload, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And give me some ideas of other things I can chat to you about because... I'm doing my very best to keep you entertained and happy smiley during lockdown, but I am running thin on ideas of what to say other than just me talking. Gobbledygook, which it seems you all enjoy, and I enjoy getting out and doing it because otherwise I would just be inside talking to myself. Working from home can get quite boring, so I like talking to the camera because it feels like I'm having a conversation with you guys. Um, so they're more than happy to make as many vlogs as possible because this is going to be really quick, simple to edit. But I need to know what you want them about. So do comment below. Let me know if you've got any suggestions. And for now, I will say 
bye bye but definitely do let me know about the microphone i'm keen to go inside and edit this and see what it sounds like say bye oc say bye you think you like carrot no you just want a nature that are you jealous say bye to your adoring fans oh they're gonna fight over a carrot now Sorry guys, this is turning into a cat vlog.